Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I am frustrated. Let me begin at the beginning. This is Redstone. It goes on, it goes off, and it's very reliable. It does many wonderful things, but it behaves by certain rules, and that's what makes it so fun, because it always does the same thing, it's reproducible, you can build the same thing anywhere, and it'll always work. One of those rules is that when it points into a block, it will charge that block, and blocks adjacent to it will be able to be powered. For example, this lamp is a device adjacent to a charged block, so it is powered. Wonderful. Now let's complicate things by adding a piston underneath. Now this creates a monostable circuit, if you know what that means. If you don't, then it doesn't matter that much. It will still make sense once I explain it a little bit, hopefully. Basically, the charge goes through the block, pulses into the lamp, but simultaneously charges the piston, and the piston pops the block away, and the charge can't actually get through the piston head, which then occupies the space, so the lamp turns off almost immediately, getting the shortest tick pulse possible. Um, redstone time is measured in ticks, and the shortest tick possible is one, and so this will get a simple one tick pulse. Just a brief flash, as you saw. Now, let's extend this theory into pistons. Pistons behave interestingly when they get one tick pulses because of the way they deal with blocks and entities specifically. When I do this, it will actually pop the block up in the air. That is because it actually changes the block into a entity while it's moving it because blocks can't move, so it needs to be an entity in order to be able to move. Uh, so it pops up into the air as an entity and then the piston head starts retracting while the block, like before it can solidify again as a block. And so it's just left hanging there while the piston is retracted. If I do this again, the piston is able to grab the block that it left hanging and everything is back to normal. Well, let's apply this to a more compact situation. As we saw over here, this lamp got powered in this particular circumstance. And so there is no reason that we should need this repeater. The piston should get charged just like the lamp did and should get that same one tick pulse. So we should see that same pop up pop down action here. Well, no. Except yes. Except no. I was intrigued by the fact that this seemed to only work some of the time. And so I started experimenting with it, trying to figure out, you know, what orientations and so forth worked. And so I came up with this little test design thing and Basically, you can see the same pattern that I was using right there. There is a piston underneath this block, and so it, the block above it gets charged and should charge the other blocks around it, and then gets pushed up and uncharges them so they should, they should all get one tick pulses. And it's the same all the way around. So, theoretically, they should all pop up, or at least a certain pattern of them should pop up so that, you know, I can nail down exactly which designs should work and which shouldn't. Alright, excellent. There's a wonderful result. These three ones work. So a piston, you know, directly adjacent that way, um, south facing with the redstone and that way and so forth. You could easily get a result from this and figure, yeah, wonderful. Redstone's reproducible, reliable. Clearly this is going to work the same way every time. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. I've tried this many times, and every single time gotten a different result, a different combination of pistons firing. And I cannot, for the life of me, determine any pattern, any rationality, any reason to how this works. The only consistent element is that for any given piston set, it will always do the same thing. The same pattern will always emerge. The same pistons will get the one tick pulse, and the same ones won't. However, that just makes it more puzzling because that means that there is some pattern to it that the game goes through every time it tries to do this. And therefore, there's some re reason or rationality behind it somewhere, but I can't see it. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with orientation, chunk boundaries, anything I can think of. But, one tick pulses, when transferred through adjacent pistons like this, seem to be ridiculously unreliable. I am annoyed by this, 
partially because this is just such a darn useful circuit. It would be so nice to be able to include it in so many of my builds and so forth, but I can't really. And the frustrating thing is I wouldn't be able to guarantee that it would work anywhere without actually building it and testing it in that particular location. So if anyone can send me a message, pop a comment, whatever, explaining how this works, or at least help me test this and figure out what's going on here, or something that would be infinitely appreciated. Because for this to be so reliable and yet so random over so many tests, yet with so few variables, except for location, which should theoretically, especially with redstone, make no difference whatsoever. It, eh, I, I'm, I'm frustrated.